Talking Movies. The Golden Age of Hollywood, 1915 to 63. Top 10 Movies. The Golden Age of Hollywood, sometimes referred to as the period of classical Hollywood cinema, started with the silent movie era, and the first major feature-length silent movie called The Birth of a Nation, 1915. The Golden Age of Hollywood ended with the demise of the studio system, the emergence of television, the rising costs and subsequent losses, notably Cleopatra in 1963. I've compiled the highest rated movies from IMDb. So again, no personal input here. By the way, tell me if you like the top 10 format. For me, I'm not so interested, although it does make for interesting comments. If you like this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Apologies for any mispronunciation of names. Starting with a fun one. Some Like It Hot, 1959. After two male musicians witness a mob hit, they flee the state in an all-female band disguised as women, but further complications set in. Director, Billy Wilder. Cast, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, George Raft. Some will say this should be number one. Gone with the Wind, 1939. American motion picture classic in which a manipulative woman and a roguish man conduct a turbulent romance during the Civil War and Reconstruction periods. Directors, Victor Fleming, George Cukor, Sam Woods. Cast, Clark Gable, Vivian Lee, Thomas Mitchell, Barbara O'Neill. Double Indemnity, 1944. A Los Angeles insurance representative lets an alluring housewife seduce him into a scheme of insurance fraud and murder that arouses the suspicion of his colleague, an insurance investigator. Director, Billy Wilder. Cast, Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck, Edward G. Robinson, Byron Barr. Group insurance, industrial stuff and so on right down the line. North by Northwest, 1959. A New York City advertising executive goes on the run after being mistaken for a government agent by a group of foreign spies and falls for a woman whose loyalties he begins to doubt. Director, Alfred Hitchcock. Cast, Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, James Mason, Jesse Royce Landis. This one was certainly popular in its time. Singing in the Rain, 1952. A silent film star falls for a chorus girl, just as he and his delusionally jealous screen partner are trying to make the difficult transition to talking pictures in 1920s Hollywood. Directors, Stanley Doonan, Gene Kelly. Cast, Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, Debbie Reynolds, Gene Hagen. Vertigo, 1958. A former San Francisco police detective juggles wrestling with his personal demons and becoming obsessed with the hauntingly beautiful woman he has been hired to trail, who may be deeply disturbed. Director, Alfred Hitchcock. Cast, James Stewart, Kim Novak, Barbara Bel Geddes, Tom Helmore. Citizen Kane, 1941. Following the death of publishing tycoon Charles Foster Kane, Reporters scrambled to uncover the meaning of his final utterance, Rosebud. Director, Orson Welles. Cast, Orson Welles, Joseph Cotton, Dorothy Comingor, Agnes Moorhead. One of my favourite epics, Lawrence of Arabia, 1962. The story of T.E. Lawrence, the English officer who successfully united and led the diverse, often warring, Arab tribes during World War I in order to fight the Turks. Director, David Lean. Cast, Peter O'Toole, Alec Guinness, Anthony Quinn, Jack Hawkins, Omar Sharif. Another Hitchcock movie, Rear Window, 1954. A wheelchair-bound photographer spies on his neighbours from his Greenwich Village courtyard apartment window and becomes convinced one of them has committed murder, despite the scepticism of his fashion model girlfriend. Director, Alfred Hitchcock. Cast, James Stewart, 
Grace Kelly, Wendell Corey, Thelma Ritter. Another man's life is at stake. Last and certainly not least, this one left everyone thinking. Twelve Angry Men, 1957. The jury in a New York City murder trial is frustrated by a single member whose skeptical caution forces them to more carefully consider the evidence before jumping to a hasty verdict. Director, Sidney Lumet. Cast, Henry Fonda, Lee J. Cobb, Martin Balsam, John Fedler. Just for fun, here are ten runner-ups. Of course, we could go on indefinitely. However, I think these give us a good Everything. idea. And we all have Every our favourites, despite what the ratings say. I'm not saying the list is correct, as it is up to all of us to make our own choices. For me, my favourites change from time to time as well. The Bridge on the River Kwai, 1957. The Treasure of Sierra Madre, 1948. Ben-Hur. 1959. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. The Grapes of Wrath, 1940. On the Waterfront, 1954. The Third Man, 1949. Rebecca, 1940. It Happened One Night, 1934. The Best Years of Our Lives, 1946. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon.